Hi, I'm Peter Dinklage. The images that you're about to see might make you want to turn away. I lost 15 pounds. That's why it's unhealthy. Um, no, it's not unhealthy if you really? if you spend a shit ton of money. Uh, um, like, like the vitamins? only reason I did it is because my sister is 100%. My sister's vegan. This guy is in amazing shape. You're you're on some kind of regimen. I started to eat uh, vegan. Oh, I feel awful. It's horrible. <laughs> I, I ate kale chips today. I changed my diet at 30 years old. Truth is, I, I've been a vegan for almost 20 years. If they tell you to eat more meat to be strong, don't buy it. And so I became a vegan. And I don't eat meat. No. If you think about a better tomorrow, you think about veganism. The number one thing that you can do is to just stop eating or cut down on your consumption of meat and dairy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to the What the Health documentary, I've officially gone be vegan, completely vegan. <laughs> And you'll be damn you might you eat it, you might figure out you might not even need to fuck with no meat at all. You know what? You might be right. <laughs> this is my compassion. Tomato heaven. How does it smell? Like fucking heaven. What? On AT Aliens, Dre started going in a different direction. Yeah. He stopped drinking, he stopped eating meat. The UFC heavyweight fighter, Super Samoan, Mark Hunt has decided to go vegan. Hi, I'm Jake Shields, Strike Force Middleweight Champion, here for PETA 2. People, when, when I talk about vegan, they're like, how the fuck did your ghetto ass turn vegan? That's exactly like the first word. They're like, yo, do you know you're going in history as the first vegan rapper, hood vegan rapper? I'm like, what? As I've said before, in the overall scheme of things, it's just the blink of an eye. Let's create realities that suit our purpose. Let's create realities that are a reflection of the divine and beautiful aspect of our nature, not part of our... T1, E and Sun. Hi, Russell. Have you managed to go vegan yet? No, I was just upstairs eating eggs. Just now, I've just come down from eating the delicious flan thing. So what would you say? And do you judge? You're very outspoken in everything that you say. So do you ever feel judged? And do you judge... Wow. No, she's oh. not. No, she wrote the kind everything. She's kind. My name is Jessica Chastain. I have always been a huge animal lover, supporter. I've adopted every animal I've ever had. I've rescued, or they've rescued me. We don't hunt deer, but the turkey and dishes from the concierge. Red and bloody, a corpse neatly packed, and you wonder about heart attacks. Jersey stir fry with the cabbage you side. I be Sam, Sam I am, and I don't eat green eggs and ham. Yo, I was going to, but we roam. Cellular phones, dot map, back in the flesh, blood and bones, don't condone. Sneak peek, the Zeph styles, me the fuck a peeky peek. I don't got beef, cause I don't eat no meat. I don't eat no meat, no dairy, no sweets. Only ripe vegetables, fresh fruit and whole wheat. So a lot of that helps, you know, a lot, but it's the spirit that keeps you alive, you know. The cows alone, they're farting is more than all the trains, planes, and automobiles multiplied by two in terms of ruining the environment in the ozone, ozone layer. That's a UN report. We create that suffering, we create that sickness, and we destroy our environment, and we burn up all our resources just so niggas can get sick eating. Mm, fried chicken, fly vixen, give me heart disease but need you in my kitchen. Fresh out the produce section, gaze at my shine like a showroom necklace. You can catch me in the whip, pushing the seats back slow. My chick's a vegan, that means she off the meat rack, though. I'm a vegan, but the reason that I kind of started this was because I had a fish that was highly intelligent. You are a really healthy guy. Are you still vegan? I'm not 100% vegan. I eat eggs. I eat eggs and, uh, and um, I do weird stuff. Like I, I eat a little bit of fish from time to time, but I but I try not to. Just like, but when I train for fights, I'm pretty much on an all raw vegan diet. The diet? Yeah. Everybody's talked about the defensive line in this diet. <laughs> Can you give us a hint what it is? It's um, it's a plant-based diet. 
Hey guys, I'm Olivia Wilde and I am here to take you through my skincare makeup process ritual. Starting with this guy, True Botanicals, Nutrient Mist. I just do a little, little bit of this. Next thing, the Radiance Oil. It actually goes into your skin, doesn't just sit on the surface, doesn't make your makeup slip off. Boop, boop, not too much. Okay, so we're here at Millions of Milkshakes and you're launching your first vegan. What's gonna be inside? The vegan milkshake is going to be pineapple, coconut, banana, anything tropical, kind of um, what my kids like, what I make for them at home. My throat, my fucking body's telling me that I'm just gravely fucking up, but I'm gonna just do this because that's who I am. Because you're a showman, Steve. That's who I am. I came here starving. I have not, I had, my girlfriend made me uh, avocado toast this morning. Here we are at fucking five in the afternoon. Haven't eaten shit. <laughs> Hey Anthony. Yes, hey. Run the chicken across the road. So get the hell away from the chicken eater. Why did you go vegan? Um. Keep it cute, mother. I'm healthy. I slept better. Mm. You know, all my bodily functions were better. Yeah. You know, in and out of the bathroom, my, my body stayed <laughs> clean. Let's get right to the list with two of the most impressive athletes and ones that you guys will all know, that's Serena and Venus Williams. They went vegan in 2011. Next up, we got the beast, Patrick Baboumian. Now, a lot of you guys may have seen him on Strength Wars and all over YouTube. He's got a great channel as well. This German strongman set the world beer keg lifting record and the 20 kilogram front hold record. But most impressively, he holds the world record for the most weight ever carried by a human at 1,234 pounds, which he said at age 37. Patrick said about going vegan, I got heavier, I got stronger, I won the European Championship title in powerlifting, I broke three world records, so everything was going perfect. My blood pressure went down, and my recovery time was so much faster so I could train more. Next up, we've got Jermaine Defoe, who's one of the top Premier League forwards. Nate and Nick Diaz are a pair of talented MMA fighters. Both fighters follow a mostly raw, vegan diet. Scott Jurek is one of the most dominant ultramarathon runners in the world. He held the US record for distance run in 24 hours, which was 165 miles from 2010 to 2012. He's been a vegan since 1997. Next up is David Meyer, who is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu competitor. His competition achievements include two world championship gold medals, four American national golds, an American open gold, and two Pan American golds, among many others. All of these were achieved as a vegan, and David's been a vegan since 2000. Then we have the free-running ninja, Timothy Sheath. He has won dozens of free-running competitions and holds a record on Ninja Warrior Stage 1 by finishing in just 62 seconds. Tia Blanco is an American pro surfer, a dedicated vegan, and yogi. Next up is Lewis Hamilton, who's a four-time Formula One world champion. Murray Rose was an Australian swimmer who won four gold medals in the 1956 and 1960 Olympics. Murray was a lifelong vegan who set 15 world records in his sport, and he attributed much of his success to his vegan diet. David Hay is a British boxer with world titles in two weight categories. Last, but definitely not least, is Kendrick Ferris, who's an American Olympic weightlifter and the only American to compete in weightlifting at the 2016 Olympics. Ferris went vegan in 2014. Loaded 24-7 and uh, working out, like going boxing and skateboarding and, you know, my same obsession with my cars and old school bicycles, it, tattoos, it never changes. You know, all my, all my other interests stayed the same. I just did away with the one that would eventually kill me. I'm vegan. I don't eat meat or chicken or pork or fish or eggs or dairy. I want to uh, thank So Delicious for sponsoring our summer preview show. Their products are all dairy free, non GMO, and so delicious, because that's the name. And <laughs> they have a new cashew milk ice cream that comes in five flavors, and I'm going to let all of you try it later, but first we have to milk the uh, cashews each. <laughs> tiny little teats on them, a little tiny. Then. then Carla, this is your first time trying vegan ice cream. What do you think? Don't lie, it's good. All right, today we're gonna be making some guacamole with the help of the kitchen cookbook. Fantastically good work, Woody. In ah. the last couple of years, you have. Ah, well, no, 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 no. Mm. And um, and then I remember he came back and showed us a picture on his phone of the photo shoot, and he was standing, hand standing. So this yoga is like off the chart. 